guys, finally the official Android 4.4 KitKat ROM cannot be flashed on your Nexus 4. This is a 100% stock ROM, meaning there have been no modifications made to it. So if you want to go back to stock, this is the way to do it. First boot to your recovery mode by pushing down the volume down button and power rocker together at the same time. No wipe data slash factory reset. It's required because we are updating to a new base and you know, we want everything to work perfectly. Next go to months and storage and format your system. Don't worry, it will not delete any of your personal files such as pictures and videos, so you are safe there. After that, you can wipe cache partition and Dalvi cache if you want to. It's not like it's required, but I will do this in my video, just to make sure. Alright, and now we can install the ROM itself. Go to the directory where you have copied the downloaded files. And first, we will start off with the radio. So choose the radio zip file and flash it. Moving on, next we will flash the bootloader. Alright, and now we can flash the ROM itself, so choose the ROM zip file and flash it. And now this is the part where it may take some time, because the ROM itself is 400 megabytes large, so just give it some time, don't stress, it will be all right. Okay, and once it's done, you can now flash the super user zip file if you want to have root privileges. And that's it, now you can reboot to the system now and <laughs> this is actually where you can go drink some water or something because this will take some time, probably up to 3 minutes I would say. And we have finally booted in the home screen. So yeah, as you can see you will not have the Google Experience Launcher because it's only available in on the Nexus 5, but you know you can flash it manually if you want to. Other than that, you are now running the latest stock Android 4.4 KitKat on your Nexus 4. Thank you for watching and see you next time.